Okay, so unit uh, number 3.4, week 3, uh, in, uh, financial statement analysis is your topic and now uh, in this we will be studying two-point analysis. Now what is uh, two-point analysis, okay, or I would say two-point equation uh, more clearly. Um, now before explaining you this slide, let me explain you this slide first. So two-point equation, now you know the formula for the return on equity. Okay, what is the formula for the return on equity net income divided by um, shareholders equity, total common equity ka le, shareholders equity ka le, yeah, uh, common equity ka le, so this is same. So the formula for the return on equity is net income divided by, now you see here net income divided by total common equity. This is a two point equation. This is a one of the famous equations in finance and it is used in finance for a number of different uh, reasons. But uh, first, uh, let me explain you what two point equation is and then I will tell you okay, what relationship it holds. Please take a look here. Return on equity ka formula aapke paas hai net income divided by common equity. Ab humne kiya ye ki net income ki niche sales laga diya multiply by sales divided by total asset kardiya and then total asset divided by common equity. So ultimately if you see, so this is return on equity. Now total asset and total asset can cancel, sale and sale can cancel. So ultimately it is ROE. But now this ROE, uh, when it is uh, expanded this way, it holds a relationship between profit margin, total asset turnover and equity multiplier. Now, if we look at the slide, a formula that shows the rate of return on equity can be found as a product of profit margin, total asset turnover and equity multiplier. It shows the relationship among uh, asset management, debt management and profitability ratios. Okay, now uh, total asset turnover refers to asset management uh, equity multiplier is a kind of a profitability ratio and profit margin is also a kind of a ratio. Now this um, actually uh, this equation holds a relationship between three profit margin total asset turnover and equity multiplier. Now when the ROE return on equity is breaked up so that it can be found using three different uh, formulas on the product karke, so then a new equation is formed which is called a dew point equation. Okay now um, now, uh, you should know that profit margin means net income divided by sales, to total asset turnover, you already know, sales divided by total asset and equity multiplier, is, uh, you already know, that is total asset divided by uh, total common equity. So the ex question that can come in your exam related to this topic is, um, um, if you see the uh, now this is uh, this is uh, one question can come in your exam um, that is and that can be done very simply is that you have return on equity hum malum karne ke liye de de, um, for the year 2019 okay so uh, either you can simply do net income divided by total common equity or net income divided by sales and sales divided by total income and total asset turnover uh, divided by total common equity you find these three and then you multiply um, and then you multiply, okay? So this is one way. The another way which is more, I would say, uh, by which you can more um, understand this and, and this question can has a more chance of coming. But the answer question is, Donald and Sons had an ROA that is return on assets of 10% a 2% profit margin and return on equity equals to 15%. Take a return on ROA that is return on asset up with the that is 10% and uh, and then you have 2% uh, profit margin and return on e uh, equity equals to 15%. What is company's total asset turnover? What is the firm's equity multiplier? So first we have total asset turnover. We have return on asset. Hai, hai? Return on asset ka formula is net income divided by total assets. Okay. Now net income is below you have sales and total assets are above you have sales. Hai, ultimately, formula will not have any effect. Nahi now sales divided by total asset is actually total asset turnover. So ROA 10% ka apne rakh diya, this is 10% and this is given in the question. 
ओके एंड देन टू परसेंट का आपका प्रॉफिट मार्जिन है नाइट इनकम डिवाइडेड बाय सेल्स ये भी गिवन है एंड टोटल एसेट टर्नओवर इज अननोन ठीक है क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई कर दिया एंड यू गेट योर टोटल एसेट टर्नओवर एज 5% नाउ कंटिन्यू करते हैं व्हाट इज फर्म्स इक्विटी मल्टीप्लायर नाउ इक्विटी मल्टीप्लायर के लिए हमने डू पॉइंट इक्वेशन यूज की पूरी रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी जो आपके पास होता है प्रॉफिट मार्जिन मल्टीप्लाई बाय रिटर्न टोटल एसिड टर्न ओवर एंड इक्विटी मल्टीप्लायर इक्वेशन आपने यूज की रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी आपको गिवन था 15 परसेंट आपने वो रख दिया ठीक है नाउ इफ यू कट सेल्स और सेल्स यहाँ से कैंसिल हो गया सो नेट इनकम डिवाइडेड बाई टोटल एसेट एंड नेट इनकम डिवाइडेड बाई टोटल एसेट इज एक्चुअली रिटर्न ऑन एसेट विच वॉज गिवन टेन परसेंट वो रख दिया इक्विटी मल्टीप्लायर अनलोन था उसे ऐसे ही रहने दिया सॉल्व कर दिया एंड यू गेट योर इक्विटी मल्टीप्लायर इज वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट प्लीज प्रैक्टिस दिस क्वेश्चन इन योर रजिस्टर एंड इफ यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम यू कैन आस्कस इन दूम थैंक यू